Let's get straight into it. Solana against BDC. We had a target over here. Way, 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 way back uh, in December 2022. 20th of December 2022. Merry Christmas, everybody. And we stuck. We stuck by our targets because, because we noticed the hand shoulders over here. And yeah, so when you see a head and shoulders, this means that uh, this is a very bearish uh, reversal type of a chart pattern, right? And we had a target and we are falling lower and lower, right? Uh, I think I noticed a lot uh, on Twitter that a lot of people, you know, at this area and at this area, they were calling for, oh, Solana. Yeah, but technically, technically, we're still under the skinny pink line. So our bias has always been bearish we are open to the possibility of things turning bullish but we need to see it on the charts first so far we have not seen any clear bullish reversal there's no clear bullish reversal yet are we oversold yes we're severely oversold can we still continue dropping lower yes of course we can but my opinion is that yeah based on what i think right of course i could be wrong we may not hit targets right we might just stop at this noisy area over here I still think that there's more downside to come for Solana, especially against BDC. And we are going to stay with our bearish bias for Solana against BDC as long as the skinny pink line is still above the price, right? I mean, of course, we might just start rising up from here, right, for no reason. But the point is, no, I don't think so. I think there's still more downside. The best, to be honest, the best thing that could happen for Solana is that we just keep dropping lower and lower and lower and lower without forming a second mountain because this is really a mountain by itself if we get a second mountain we get a third mountain ladies and gentlemen this will become a descending triangle and more likely than not we will be heading towards 2000 i'm not saying we need to get a, a bearish continuation chart pattern to head towards 2000 even from here we can just zip all the way down to 2000 right when things fall they fall very fast uh, and that's why you know shots you know there's also another meaning for shots as in like when it falls it falls very in a very short time, right? When it goes up, it goes up in a very long time. I mean, of course, this is nonsense, but the point is then it kind of makes sense in that, in that way, right? Uh, it takes some time before it rises. Uh, when it falls, it falls very fast, right? Shoo! A small little consolidation, Shoo! right? So this is like a staircase down. It's a staircase to hell, right? Highway to hell, not exactly a highway, but it's a staircase to hell. So my point is that there's still more downside for Solana against BDC. And this is the danger of knife catching, right? Sometimes you might think, oh, there's a very strong rally coming on. This could be the bullish reversal. You make a move over here. And then after that, uh, look at where the price is right now. 48% down. If you bought at the very top over here, you would have 50% of whatever that you have invested at the top gone, gone. If you had, let's say, for example, 10 BDC at the top, right now you only be left with 5 BDC. The remaining 5 BDC, I mean, has already evaporated and you're left with only 5. So it's like, yeah, so it's like you, you cannot be too quick uh, to make a move because you still don't see any clear signs of uh, bullishness yet, right? So for Solana, Solana, way back uh, during the 2021 bull run, Solana was just insanely bullish, right? We were above the skinny pink line. You see that? And we remained above the bullish, uh, the skinny pink line, right? There was a period of consolidation over here. But eventually, we continued higher because we are above the skinny pink line. So we remain with our bullish bias for Solana against BTC. And the same thing, the moment we cross the skinny pink line, we switch our bias to bearish and we remain bias bearish down for Sol BTC. And yeah, so look at this. We just kept dropping lower and lower and lower. So that's why as a trader, you must be able to open longs as in to trade towards the upside and also open shots to trade towards the downside. You want to be profitable regardless of whether if it is raining or whether if it is uh, sunny, right? Or if there's rainbows, butterflies and yeah, rainbows, butterflies, birds, bees, everybody is making money, right? But very few people have the skill to, you know, uh, make profits when uh, the markets are down because it's a little bit more dangerous because you need to, um, open trades uh, on margin you have to borrow funds so that's the danger you have to trade on leverage so yeah but when you are going up you don't need leverage for solana we have already reason i don't know what's like eight thousand you don't need leverage at all honestly uh, you can just buy and keep it hold it wait until it's uh, time to sell and then you can you know sell things off right buy sell i mean it's not so easy as buy sell right but the point is that you can hold it you know, for a much longer period. But when it is shorting, you have to be very quick. Once the targets are hit, pump you're out. You wait for the rally, and after that, uh, as things were to drop again, you go in, you go out, right? 
go in, go out. Yeah, so that's trading for you. My point is, my point is, uh, I think there's still more downside to come for Solana against BDC. I don't really like what I see for Solana BDC. So be careful about rushing into a trade too soon, right? Yeah, so for Solana against USDT, we had a target way back again, 15th of uh, November, 2022. 15th of November, uh, this was actually coinciding with the time when FTX was collapsing. And because of that, uh, we got two very big targets. Uh, one was for FTT, which hit targets very fast. And the other one was actually for Solana. Uh, 15th of November was around the time uh, when FTX collapsed. And this was a long, long target that we had. And yeah, of course, uh, we didn't really hit targets for Solana. For FT FTT, we did. Anyway, there was a strong rally that came on. And you might be inclined uh, to make a move towards the upside. Even for Solana, uh, against USDT. There was a possibility of a symmetrical triangle completion over here, right? A, B, C, D, E. We were expecting and hoping for things to switch bullish for Solana, uh, but it didn't come. It didn't come. It just didn't happen. And so what happened? Yeah, we tripped lower. We already took out these lows. And so this invalidates the potential symmetrical triangle for Solana against USDT. And I feel like uh, Solana, <laughs> Again, the, the hope, the hope again is that we do not form mountain ranges because if we start forming mountain ranges, then very likely uh, Solana could be heading lower, right? Uh, case in point, look at this mountain range here. Left shoulder, hit, right shoulder. Yeah, $2. Doesn't mean we're going to hit $2, um, but we're expecting things to remain bearish for Solana for some time. We're still under the skinny pink line, right? So again, the moment we cross the skinny pink line, you'll be wise uh, to switch uh, bearish. Right. So, so, I mean, sure, you could argue that uh, there were some uh, rallies above the skinny pink line, but it was just temporary before Solana got slapped back down, right? Uh, and got slapped again here, and we're getting slapped again. But this slap is not as brutal as this slap or this slap, right? This is just a mini slap. So the, the, hope, the hope is that we don't consolidate. We don't want to see mountains. The moment we start seeing mountains, more likely than not, uh, we should be heading into uh, single-digit territory again for Solana. So the danger uh, still is there that uh, Solana could hit much lower. Of course, all of this would depend upon BTC as well, uh, and also on Binance not collapsing. The point is that uh, even for a trade towards 222, we still don't see the, uh, the continuation chart pattern yet. It's just not really that obvious yet, right? Uh, but of course, the moment we start seeing mountain ranges, we could be inclined to put on shots for Solana. So be careful about rushing to a trade too soon for Solana because we still have downside targets. 